Darius Phelan was a unexpected signing for the Las Vegas Raiders last season on a one-year, $1 million deal and had a solid impact on our season. And I think the Raiders should re-sign him for the 2022 season, and here's why. New Jersey to Las Vegas, New Jersey Raider Nation, coming to you live. So the quick history about Darius Phelan is he had a solid career at Arkansas in college and then ended up being drafted 192nd overall in the sixth round of the 2015 draft by the San Diego Chargers. Like Ja'Cory Shepard. All right, so Darius Phylon, defensive tackle out of Arkansas, goes. Mel, your big board's shrinking by the moment. It really is. It's good to see Phylon was hanging around for a little while. He's a three technique. He's short, 6'1", 298 pounds, but he ran a 4'8", 9". This guy can move. He can penetrate, get in the backfield, change direction, and go make plays. He's, to me, the effort is outstanding. The quickness is outstanding. He just gets pushed around a little bit. Twitchy one-gap defender, though, if you use him properly, I think he can be a good Good in a rotation though. played there for four seasons progressing each year and then went to the Cardinals and got a two-year ten million dollar contract but before that season he had a legal issue that was eventually dismissed but this resulted in him being let go by the Cardinals so two years go by of Phylon not being on an NFL team and in 2021 with Gus Bradley as the defensive coordinator for the Raiders having had history together in San Diego he brings on Phylon and the Raiders sign a one-year, $1 million deal. Missing any time in the NFL is a big deal for these players, especially in the middle of their career. And if it's off the field problems and not an injury, it could be pretty damaging to their confidence, their skill level, whatever the case is. But with Darius Phylon, the second chance, one-year deal with the Raiders seemed to be a big turning point for him. Uh, he got another chance and he was looking good. He fit the Raiders defense really well. The, he seemed like he was enjoying being a Raider. The team fit him well. Um, and he ended the season with decent numbers. Nothing too crazy, but was a solid piece to the team. Now an issue with Phylon is his injuries. He was on injured reserve two separate times this past season for two different injuries. Once in the middle of the season after the Giants game for an ankle injury. And then he got off IR for that after week 12. And then in the final game of the regular season versus the Chargers, during that play-in game for the wild card, he pulled a tendon in his, in his knee. And he was out for the re remainder of the season. Although that game was his best in the silver and black. He was destructive on big plays and he was pretty consistent throughout that whole game. Losing Phylon for the wild card game versus the Bengals was a part of why we lost. I believe with him in the game, they would have been able to shuffle the D-line more and he would have brought another wave of pressure. Looking at his stats, he had two sacks, five tackles for loss, and 19 solo tackles in the season with the Raiders. It's nothing crazy, but remember he only played in 11 games out of the 17 and played in 39% of the defensive snaps in those games coming off the bench. The Raiders had a nice rotation for defensive tackles with Jonathan Hankins, Gerald McCoy, and Darius Phylon. Now his contract will be interesting in terms of what he's looking for and what the Raiders are willing to pay him. I think locking him in for another two to three years would be great. He proved he can still ball and he's working hard to get healed up and ready to go for the 2022 season. His first four years with the Chargers, he got $2.4 million. Then the Cardinals beefed it up with a two-year $10 million contract, but not playing in the NFL for over two years warrants lots of questions and concerns of how well you can bounce back. So the Raiders taking a chance with a one-year, $1 million contract turned out to be a great move. I'm hoping they can manage a two to three year contract for Phylon as he's a great part of the Raiders D-line. I like Darius Phylon with the Raiders. I think it's a good fit for everyone and I'm hoping the Raiders can keep him around for another two to three years. Um, but of course, these are all my opinions. Uh, so I'm wondering what you guys think. Should the Raiders pursue keeping Phylon on the roster or not? Leave a comment so I can see what you guys think and I hope you enjoyed the video.